was good with the people. First of all, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful for this time. It's not much light. It's like six in the morning. But I'm just grateful. I'm just sitting here by the beach. And I'm just being that. I'm being great. And I just was going through all the times in my life. And it's like, this point right here, I've asked to be here. I've asked to be in a position where I'm at peace. Where, you know, I'm in a loving state. And I'm not worried about opinions and doubt, worry, and fear are things of the past. And, you know, action, consistency, and discipline are now, like, the things that I have asked for, I have gotten. And they have come in the manner that I've asked for them. Like, when you think about... What you say, and then something happens that makes that statement true, then that 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 becomes like you understand that what you say is powerful, and I have witnessed what I say is powerful. That's why I say and don't say, do and don't do, and be and don't be certain things. But I have asked for a place of my own. I've asked for money in a general sense, and I've gotten it in that general sense, like, Both of both the relative and the absolute is pure. It's pureness in it. The absolute being the all, who you are inside, within you, what you have to bring to the table, your gifts. That is the absolute. The relative is the world. Uh, con- uh, con- uh, constructions of what the mind ho- held. At one point in time, buildings and you know everything, every all the way shit is situated was once a thought. It was once a thought, and it came to life when we walked in our way. And I, I'm like, <laughs> I'm grateful, man. I'm just grateful. That's why. So much pause in between my words. It's just, I'm just grateful because what's to come is not even touching this. Once you have a thought in your mind and you accomplish it with your action, you have, it's other shit to do. It's other shit that you want to do. Like, it don't it don't stop at the cap. It don't stop at the goal. That's why it's a journey. Like, cause it's never a goal. When people become millionaires, they don't stop working. They still work. They still go make their money and do how they do, and it just keeps on running. Like it's never an end. It's never going to be an end. Like, we always going to have new things that we want. It's always going to be something. It's always going to be something. And I love it. Like, I was just thinking about the just the two words, conditioned and unconditioned. And we have been conditioned to be a certain way because of what we've seen and, you know, the idols that we had. Idols. <clears throat> but we have been conditioned to those things. And it becomes unconditioned 
when we become absolute, when we become our true selves and portray that out in the world continuously all the time. So that just took me because it's like that correlates with condition and unconditioned love. Like we're the conditioned love is I love you only if you do this. Only if you do that. Only if you have this. Only if you have that. That's condition that's conditional love. Unconditional love is I love you for whatever you do. You know? That's that's how it feels to me like. I've wiped away as much as of the conditioning that I can because I want to be something greater. I want to be something better. And, you know, it never, like I said, it never stops. It's always this desire in your mind. Where else can I go? What else can I do? You know? And, you know, I'm at a point in my life where, now it's just continuing. It's continuing to do, continuing to be. Make that consistent. Once you make something a habit, like that that's it. Conditions create habits. So like conditioning is repetitious. Once you keep on doing something, you are conditioned to do that thing. So you can have good conditioning or you can have bad conditioning and you know good and bad are relative in the relative world we need one thing just to know the there's other things like it's only two things it's only two real things like i said fear and love like but then you have other things on the scale it's just how far up and how far down you go. Hot and cold. Good and bad. Up and down. They're just polar opposites. We need them here in the relative in order to choose. And that's a beautiful thing. Like, like I said, I, I just, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm, I'm continuously grateful because I know where I want to be. And I know that, you know, I'm I'm not that far. Like I said, manifestation can be instant and it can take time. If you have all the tools that you need to make it take no time at all, then do that. If you have tools that you need to make it take less time, okay. Then that should say 73, 73 times 2. My angels be speaking to me, y'all. Like, real life. It's a beautiful thing. I've been reading more. I've been fucking getting on my health shit. By this time, I mean, like, by summer 2022, they gonna have a motherfucking six-pack. I ain't even never had one of them before. I've been close. I had a four pack once. High school days, but we ain't on that. But it's just beautiful the things that I'm creating, the things I can create. Like, once you see things happen for you, you can continue. I'm on this uh on this audio book called Um Something with Concentration. Like some breaking down concentration and you know, proper, properly knowing what that means and what it is and, you know, stuff like that. But I think I want to get into, like, psychology and shit. Like, the mind and the way that that shit works. Like, knowing people and, you know, like, child development. Excuse me. <laughs> like, child development and stuff like that. Like... A whole ass cat with a whole ass collar. 
You got me fucked up with my cat going outside. Like, I mean, you know what? Fuck you. You can't keep a cat in the house. My cat ain't my cat ain't gonna be no house cat. That motherfucker gonna we gonna go on walks. Me and my cat. That shit gonna be cool. I ain't been able to sleep like it's been crucial. But I ain't I ain't been tripping like most of the time I make I make things more than what they are. Like, once I make a decision on something, sometimes I still do the little second thought thing, you know? But in all actuality, step by step, day by day, you get better. You get better. People expect their life to go in a line and shit. That shit got ups and downs and shit, but... As long as you are gradually making progress towards who you really want to be, like the envisionment, like who do you want to be your whole life? Like who do you want to be until you die? Who do you want to be? Answer that question, envision that shit every day and be and you start to be it. I'm telling you, like look Shit don't happen in a day, but it's going to happen if you make the steps towards it. Like, if you just fucking around and shit, nothing's going to happen for you. And you're going to sit there, you're going to fucking wonder why. And the same shit going to just keep happening to you. (laughs) I've been in that motherfucking situation, y'all. Like, I'm not going to tell you no shit that I ain't been through. I can't do it. Like, I just can't be fake. I can't be a liar. I can't do none of that shit because as soon as I try and lie, I feel fucked up because that's not really me. It's not who I am. Like, it just can't be like that. I can't do that shit. I can't have people like that around me. And I be so caring. Damn. Fucking. The world is beautiful, y'all. But I be so fucking caring about people's feelings and pe- how people feel and shit and forget to tell them the truth. Like, I can't be on that type of time. I spend a lot of time with myself. But I'm just getting used to this. I'm getting used to it all. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I be trying to rush myself sometimes. It, it it don't it don't work. I be trying to know it all. It don't fucking work. Like no, you gotta have balance. Sometimes I do so much more of one thing, and then the fucking energy dissipates because I just I, I used all the fucking energy up on that I had on it. Like I'm learning to balance, really balance. Like really know what that means and balance. Like I've been balancing a lot of shit in my life, but what I really need to balance, like, but, you know, it's the willpower, it's that will, I ain't gonna ever lose that, and I've learned that about myself, like, I'm not gonna ever lose the will, it don't matter how goddamn long it take me to get to where I'm going, I ain't gonna never not get there, because it's the will, it's just that I got to get there, I'm, it don't matter how I'm gonna get there, but I'm going to, And can't nobody stop me in this motherfucking home, God. That's what I believe, man. In real life. Life is good. It's going to get even better, too. It's like... You create this. You. You create this. Nobody else. Not unless you let them. Fucking Robert Kiyosaki said it best. Like, if you can't think, then I can't help you. If you can't do shit, if you can't do shit for yourself on your own, like, there's there comes a point in time in life that you have to do shit by yourself. And can't nobody fucking tell you and point you and do and mm-mm. 
because they are they can't continue to do that. Cause then one day they gonna make a decision. They are gonna tell you something that you don't like. That's gonna go against what you are comfortable with. And then there there's your clash. You cannot have a yes man in your life. Yes woman, whatever you want to call it. You can't have one of those. I'm sorry. I've had one. And I've been one. Sometimes it's good to say no. Even if it's going to fuck up the mind of the person that you always say yes to. It helps. I'm telling you, it helps. I've made so many decisions wrong and right. Because we are learning in actuality. We don't know a goddamn thing in this bitch. I still don't know a goddamn thing in this bitch. But I tell you one thing. I ain't gonna stop trying to know about it. I am not going to stop trying to know. I got to grow with me. I got to grow with AO and know what's going on. Like, or I might die. I got to take care of myself in this bitch. Like, I want to be able to care for people. So I have to know how to care for self. It's going to be, it's going to be great. We, <laughs> <clears throat> when I take on the task, it's going to be fucking amazing. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm like this close to quitting weed. Like, not even quitting, like, like balancing, you know what I'm saying? Like, got to balance that shit. But I'm so close and I'm there. I'm making gradual steps. It's like, fuck what everybody else think. Fuck how everybody else is feeling about what I'm doing. Goddamn, this is my life and what I'm doing. You heard me? That real shit. I love it, man. Life is amazing. Life is amazing. And it's amazing to me because we have the capacity to learn, to know. And once you know, you got to act. You can't not act when you know. Because then you'll be stuck in the same cycle. Once again, it's tough. But you get there. We we humans, but it's, if it's will. Are we willing to do what it takes to make shit happen? To make ourselves happy? What makes us happy? Like questions, real questions Ask. What makes you happy in real life? Be beautiful. Stay beautiful. Because you are. Alright? I love you, man.